Welcome to the channel guys, this video is for college and sixth form students studying level 3 BTEC IT. In this video we're going to talk about the different methods that businesses and organisations might use to collect data. Any questions you get about gathering data will always be about businesses and organisations. One of the main reasons why businesses collect data is to gather information about what their customer wants and what they need. It's usually done for advertising and marketing purposes. Towards the end of the video we'll go over an example question you might be asked in your exam. I'll put a timestamp on the screen if you want to skip to that part of the video. On the screen here I've got three common methods of collecting primary data. Primary data is information the business has collected by themselves. The first method we're going to talk about is questionnaires. Questionnaires can be a great way for companies to gather data and information about their customers. Questionnaires allow businesses to gather information from a large population in a short amount of time. This is good because the company can generalise the data and it means it can represent a larger audience. And in the description you can see how questionnaires are usually closed-ended. So this means that everyone is asked the same question, meaning they can see trends and patterns in the data they receive. If you're asked about the drawbacks of using questionnaires, you need to mention how the questions are usually close-ended. So this means that the companies can misunderstand their data because they don't have reasons or explanations for the answers they gave. This is bad for the business because the data can't really help them if they don't understand why their participants have answered in a certain way. And another drawback of questionnaires is that they usually have a low response rate. So this is bad for the business because they have less data to go off. The next method to collect data we're going to talk about is the use of interviews. Interviews are usually focused on one-to-one -one meetings which can be over the phone, in person and over a video conference. One of the main benefits of using interviews to collect data is the fact that the researcher can ask follow-up questions to give them a better detailed response. This is good because it gives them a reason and it justifies the respondent's answers. Another benefit you could talk about is if the interviews are face to face then there's a higher chance that the participant will be more honest. This is a good thing for the business because the data that they receive back is more reliable. However one of the main downsides of using interviews to collect data is that they take too long and you can only interview one person at a time. Another drawback of using interviews to gather data is the fact that the data you receive back is quantitative meaning it's harder to analyse. The last method of collecting data we're going to talk about is by using focus groups. Focus groups are pretty much a way of surveying a group of people where you ask them questions and allow them to share ideas and have a conversation about a topic. One of the benefits of focus groups that you can talk about is how it's quicker to gather information from a larger group compared to interviews where you gather information from one person at a time. Another way that it can be beneficial for businesses is how respondents react to each other's answers, providing a more detailed answer. So this pretty much gives the company more data to go off. One of the main drawbacks of using a focus group to gather data is how it's quite hard to assemble a group of people at the same time. So the company would either have to stop the research altogether or research a smaller group of people. And another drawback is that they're similar to interviews where the data they receive is qualitative and can be hard to analyse. In this section of the video we're going to go over an example question that you might get asked in your exam. So the question tells us that the company is working on a new product and they want to get it out into the mobile computing market and they want to find out what their potential customers are looking for. So the question is asking us to analyse two primary sources of collecting data that the company could use to find out what their customers want. Now because the question is asking us to analyse our answer, we need to give pros and cons for each method of data collection. The first method I've talked about is questionnaires and I've said how questionnaires can be good for the business because it allows them to gather information from a larger population in a short amount of time. This is good for the business because it means if they have more data they have a better understanding of what their customers are looking for. Another good thing of using questionnaires is how the company can gain consistent data. This is because the questions are closed in the questionnaire and all respondents are asked the same questions. This allows them to generalise and represent a larger audience. However, some drawbacks of using questionnaires is that they usually have a low response rate, meaning they have less data to go off. And another drawback is the fact that they have closed questions, so the researchers don't have an explanation for the participants' answers. The second method of data collection I've talked about is focus groups. 
I went with focus groups over interviews because it allows the company to gather more information from more people over researching them individually. A benefit of using focus groups is that the company can gain a better understanding of their customers and it gives them a reasoning for their answers. This is because focus groups allows the participants to build on each other's answers. So when, so when participants do this, it gives the researchers more reliable data. However, a downside of using focus groups is how it can be time consuming and difficult to assemble a large group of people at the same time. And another downside of using focus groups is because you've let your customers elaborate on their answers, it means that the data you get back isn't quantitative, so it's harder to analyse. Pretty much it's easier for the researchers to misunderstand the data because it's way too open to interpretation.